If Dr. Anthony Fauci thought Rand Paul was mad at him, wait until the animal activists see this. A new report shows that under Fauci's direction, the National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Disease funded painful and deadly experiments on dogs to the tune of more than $400,000. According to the White Coat Waste Project, researchers used biting flies to infect dozens of healthy beagles with parasites to test an experimental drug. Records show the dogs endured months of pain, and once researchers were done with them, they were killed. Here to react, Laura Logan, host of Laura Logan Has No Agenda on Fox Nation, and Justin Goodman of the White Coat Waste Project. Justin, let, let me begin with you. What did you find in terms of your research on this? Well, everyone knows that Anthony Fauci potentially caused the pandemic with reckless animal experiments over in Wuhan. Uh, but we track federal spending, particularly at the NIH, and through the Freedom of Information Act, we learned that the uh, Fauci's division specifically recently contracted $400,000 for a university experiment where they bought 28 healthy beagles. The NIH website says they choose beagles because they're small and docile. Read, that means they are easy to abuse. Uh, they took these 28 healthy beagles, infected them with parasites by as they've done in the past, strapping devices to them that allow flies to eat them alive, basically, uh, give them parasites, and then they killed the dogs at the end of the study, even though they could have been rehabilitated and adopted out. Um, this is a classic example of not following the science. These experimental drugs have already, already been extensively tested in other animals, including dogs, in the past. Uh, the FDA says that testing on dogs is not necessary. The EPA and the VA have ended dog testing, are about to end dog testing, and the NIH admits that 90 percent of these uh, animal tests fail to translate to humans. Laura, I love dogs. I assume you do as well. Uh, I'm trying to contain myself on this story. Uh, this is just really infuriating. How, how can something like this happen at taxpayer expense, more, uh, nonetheless? Well, actually, I'm sitting here with my little dog on my lap. <laughs> She's on my lap for every uh, live shot. She never leaves me alone. She What's usually, you know, keeps her head down. So her, this is honey, if you want to <laughs> see her. I mean, it just happened. We didn't plan that, I'll be honest. Um, but um, so, I mean, you know, like most people, right, how could you not love dogs? I mean, this has to be something that... Uh, people everywhere are united on. In fact, there's supposed to be far fewer experiments on animals, and particularly dogs, because so many people um, are really just horrified by it. There's ethical considerations, there's moral considerations, and of course there's the practical considerations. We know that these kind of things do happen, but should they be happening with taxpayer money? That's a very important question. And it's certainly, you know, Dr. Fauci is increasingly becoming Dr. Evil, right? Because um, over and over again, the decision um, that he has made that have just destroyed millions of lives all over the world um, is becoming more apparent by day. But we still, we don't know so much about what he's doing. We don't know what he's doing, what they're doing at the NIH with animals. We don't know what research they're funding into gain of function, which is, I mean, let's be honest about it, right? It's bioweapons research. That's what they're really doing is creating bioweapons. We don't know how many people have died, how many kids have lost their um, education, how mental health has been affected, how other diseases, economies destroyed. I mean, it, it is just really staggering, the impact of uh, the way this has been handled. And, you know, I'll tell you, Ben, I was in Liberia at the height of the Ebola epidemic, the worst in history, and you had a 99.99% chance of dying. Mm -hmm. That was truly terrifying. When you're talking about a disease where you have a 99.9% .9 chance of survival, it really is staggering that we are just wrecking apart every Everything that we have ever known from our, you know, liberties to our mental health to our physical well-being and uh, the poverty that will affect generations to come. So what is exactly is Dr. Fauci doing with animals? What experiments is the NIH conducting? These are questions that we really need to answer. And mm -hmm. Fauci's been lying to Congress. They've been hiding gain of function. They're, you know, they're doctoring all the numbers. They talk about the spread of the Delta variant, but they don't talk about how many people are asymptomatic, how many people are actually sick. They don't talk about the death rates. They don't talk about ambulatory protocols. They don't talk about all the medicines that you can take that heal you. And the big question is, why not? And who's going to hold him to account? Well, I, I want to thank, uh, Justin, for the research that you've done uh, at uh, White, Coast, uh, White Coat Waste Project. Can, where can they go, folks go, to learn more about what you do? 
Uh, you can visit us at whitecoatwaste.org or on any social media platform at White Coat Waste. It's important to have the truth, the transparency, as you were saying, Laura, about yep. what's really going on behind the scenes so that we can actually get to the bottom of so many decisions that were made and seem to have been made poorly. Laura and Justin, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you.